Juice Network. We know that you're slithering in your skin to find out this week's topic, and it is... Reptile! Reptiles include some of the most unique and creepy crawly creatures known to man. So let's jump right into our episode this week, starting off with our music video starring Carson and Kate. Big snake named Roy used to live in the Amazon. Real dope kind of reptile, yeah, he's got some brawn. Largest snake in the world, up 30 feet in length. Weighs 550 pounds, yeah, he's got a lot of strength. Now that's real, real, real. It gets worse, man, those snakes can really kill. Squeeze they prey until they get ill. A mesmerized feel, man, I gotta stay still. It's real, it's real, 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 real. Hey, by the way, did I say what anacondas eat for meals? Fish, birds, pigs, of course, and goats. Yeah, they put it down their throat. Yeah, that's really what I wrote. I'm telling you, it's really swallow their whole meal. Doesn't matter if it's phony, they digest it all with ease. So I wrote this song to tell you and wrote a dumb rap like. That anaconda ain't. That anaconda ain't. That anaconda ain't no fun. Cause it's dangerous. Fun. Big snake named Roy. Oh my gosh. Look at that snake. Oh my gosh. Look at that snake. Oh my gosh. Look at that snake. Look at that snake. Look at that snake. That anaconda ain't. That anaconda ain't. That anaconda ain't no fun. Cause it's dangerous, son. What's happening in the world of reptiles? Let's find out. Many pet owners think that releasing their animals to the wild is a good option. This creates two possible problems. The freed animals die because they are unable to adapt. They multiply and create new problems, upsetting the local ecosystem. When pets are released, these animals are pretty much signing their own death sentence. When they thrive, these animals will start to reproduce and actually kill off other animals. Also, some of these exotic animals can spread diseases. The Burmese python is one of the largest snakes in the world. Researchers believe that the pythons are responsible for the decline in bobcat, rabbit, and possum populations. In Florida, 84% of the introduced species stem from exotic pets which have been released into the wild. Some of these include the Argentine tigu, a lizard that can grow up to 4 feet in length and lay 45 eggs a year. Once established in the environment, they compete the local animals such as cats, dogs, and even raccoons. Uh, my favorite color is green because reptiles are green. Um, <clears throat> let's get into the art segment with Bree and Megan.
That was good, Sarah. Do you think it tops the rest that we have left to come? I'll have to see more to find out, so let's get right into sports. Hey mates, Jack Taylor here, coming to you from the African wilderness. Today we're out searching for some of the biggest lizards in the world, monitor lizards. These behemoths aren't just your average everyday lizard. These suckers can grow up to be five, even ten feet long. Crikey, there's one now. That's the old white-throated monitor. Let's move in and get a closer look. Oh my goodness, there's a Nile monitor there. These two species rarely fight but they've been known to encounter each other in the wild, rarely. Looks like if they're about to fight, let's scoop back. There goes the white monitor retreating back into the wilderness just to live another day. Now, everyone knows how much I love sports. That's gotta be my favorite segment. Hmm, interesting. I really like questions, so let's head right into the question segment. Yeah, that's great. Come up with a funny answer for that. Um, Iguana Dawn. Iguana El Guapo. That was funny though. Okay, are you ready? Hey, Go. What is the scientific name for an iguana? Iguana. Iguana. Correct. Iguana mama. Mamba. No. Iguana it's a, mamba. It's iguana iguana, actually. Iguana iguana mamba okay. mamba. Uh, 17 inches. Um, 28 feet. Uh, 7 feet. Ooh, close. 18 inches. Six and a half feet. Three pounds. Eleven. Uh, that's your class. Uh, Three hundred and twenty-six point four. Uh, twenty. All right, how much? Eleven pounds. I looked on this sheet. <laughs> Bugs and plants, plants. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go with fruit, insects, and small animals, and the occasional baby. Uh, plants. Boom. Other iguanas. <laughs> they they actually eat their mates. <laughs> no. Ooh. Um. Dinosaurs count. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, probably a Komodo dragon. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely a little yeah. different. Oh my god, I'd be a crocodile. <laughs> Just because. Okay. Got some big mouths. <laughs> now to finish off our reptile episode, here's our personal top 10 list. Number 10. The Belcher Sea Snake is the most venomous snake known to mankind, but it is also a very docile snake unless provoked. Number nine, one out of four bites from a Belcher sea snake contains venom. Number eight, the Belcher sea snake is found off the Asian coast. Number seven, 90% of the Belcher sea snake's victims are fishermen. Number six, they can grow up to one meter in length. Number five, these snakes have a flat tail with a slim body which makes them great swimmers. Number four, these snakes are one of the only snakes to give live birth in water. Number three, these snakes have small teeth so you hardly feel their bite and you often forget quickly. Number two, they usually have a striped pattern with bright colors. Number one, a single bite from a Belcher sea snake has enough venom to kill a thousand men. Just so sweet. Um, what can I um, thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of Science News Network. Tune in next week when we talk about mammals.